So we're going to be doing this video a little bit differently. Normally my restoration and custom videos, it's just me showing you guys a time lapse of me actually just painting the midsole. But for this particular video, I'm actually going to show you step by step and we're going to be taking breaks in between steps. I'm going to explain to you actually what I'm doing in order to get this shoe back into pristine condition. As you can see here, and as you saw in the beginning of the video, this is a pair of cool gray threes. It has some scuffs up here. The midsole is destroyed and it pretty much just needs an all around overhaul if that makes any sense but uh what i'm going to start with first is getting this paint off the midsole and what i'm going to be using are two files i got a small file to get in between the cracks right in here on the midsole and i have a bigger file here and that pretty much just allows me to cover more space on the midsole it just saves me time and i do want to let you know before i go ahead and strip the paint off of this shoe is if you are going to use this file technique just be very careful you got to pick and choose when you use it this is a model from 2007 i believe and this paint is very brittle i mean i could literally start scraping the paint off with my fingernail if I really wanted to as you can see but like I said you just got to really pick and choose your shoes if the paint is brittle enough by all means take a file to it just be careful that you don't damage the actual midsole underneath the paint and without wasting any more time let's get this paint off of this midsole Now, as you can see, we have a pretty big mess here. So I'm actually going to take a second and get rid of all of this dry chipped off paint and I will be right back. Now the files actually do a really good job at getting the majority of this paint off. But as you can see, not everything comes off fully. And I mean, you wanna get every last piece of paint off of here. So what I like to do after I'm finished actually filing the midsole is I will take a little bit of acetone on a cotton bud and just run across it just to make sure that I didn't miss anything. And honestly, using the file to get off the majority of the paint of the midsole is a much better idea than using acetone for it because once you use acetone just to get off these little, you know, specks that I missed with the file, it's not like you're going to be putting this abrasive chemical onto the midsole for an extended period of time. It's going to, be on there for, I don't know, maybe not even a minute. And what I do is I use just regular acetone here from pretty much any hardware store. But what I do to make it a little bit easier to work with the acetone is I actually empty out a bottle of nail polish remover and I fill it up with just straight acetone. It just makes it way easier to work with. You're going to see in a second exactly what I'm talking about. So yeah, let's get the rest of this paint off the midsole. Is pretty much going to do it for the midsole I mean if you take a look at it get this in focus that is a very clean very very nice looking strip there is no more paint left the midsole underneath is dirty because that is just a natural thing that happens to midsoles after a long period of time I mean the paint cracks and then the actual midsole underneath the paint is exposed so you get little dirt stains like that and like that but that is nothing to worry about because this dirt is going to be gone as soon as we finish putting the under layers of white on here but before we get to that as you can see the uppers are still absolutely filthy so we are going to go to the bathroom yes the infamous bathroom of mine and we are going to clean this shoe up and get it looking very nice let's get going all right so now what I'm pretty much going to do is just give the shoe an overall clean as you can see like I showed you in the beginning of the videos this shoe is pretty pretty dirty it's pretty beat up I'm going to be using rejuvenator I am not going to be using the laundry because this is a suede new buck material and I really don't want to be throwing suede or new buck into the washing machine personally I know that rejuvenator says that you can but it's just me a personal preference and so like I said in all the other rejuvenator videos you want to fill it up with warm water I'm going to be using the suede brush, nice soft bristles. We got the Rejuvenator Sneaker Solution. I want to go one, two. I'm almost running out. I'm going to have to hit Rejuvenator up for a re-up on this sneaker solution so I can keep cleaning my shoes. And we are going to take the laces out and we are going to get to cleaning the shoe. Let's get going. All right, so we gave the shoe a nice clean. I'm actually going to wipe this off with a towel, but before I get into that, I'm going to take to the bottom soles of this with the Rejuvenator sole brush. Nice hard bristles, gets the bottoms 
very nice and clean. And uh, yeah, let's let's just keep going with it. What do you think? All right, so like I said, the shoe is pretty much all good to go as far as cleaning goes. I'm going to be using my Reshuvenator branded microfiber towel. If you want to get yourself a Reshuvenator kit, check the links in the description below and it will bring you to the Reshuvenator website where you can order it. I don't have a discount code yet. I haven't really discussed that with them, but if you just want to get your hands on a sneaker solution kit, the laundry kit or whatever, product you want from them just uh, check my description underneath this video and yeah you will be able to get your hands on one I'm going to continue drying this and I'm gonna let it air dry as you can see it's still pretty wet and uh, we'll see you when it's time to tape off the shoe and paint it now while you're waiting for the shoes to actually dry before you can actually tape it off and start painting a good thing that you can do is get on small details like getting the laces clean for me personally what i do is i get a little cup of water yes it's the same cup that i used to put in the sneaker solution from the shoevenator so we fill it up with hot water this time all right you want to use warm water when you're actually cleaning the shoe but when it comes to things like shoelaces what are they they have like really you know stubborn stains you want to use hot water so I'll put that there. And what we use here in Australia, in America, I know you guys have OxyClean, but you wanna use any oxygen cleaner. We have Vanish. As you can see, it has Oxy Action right there. You just get a little bit in the cap. You don't wanna to get too much. There you go, put it in there. And then you take some laundry detergent, Cold Power, still not sponsored by Cold Power, not even trying to get sponsored by Cold Power, if I can be perfectly honest. Put it in there. Oh, that's a little bit too much. Pour some out. Did not mean to go. <laughs> I went a little overboard with the uh, with the washing detergent there. We don't want to put too much in. And you want hot water, like I said, nice and hot. Get it nice and sudded up. Take your shoelaces, chuck them in there, and let them soak. Get it nice. You want to get it nice and suddy soap suds just to get all the dirt off of there. Dump it out and repeat the process and then actually let the shoelaces soak for about maybe maybe six hours is what I usually go with. So yeah, we wanna get all the extra dirt out of there. And yeah, that's pretty much all you gotta do in order to clean up the laces. I will put more vanish in here and I will show you guys a tip to get excess dirt off the bottom of your soles. All right, so now we're waiting for the actual shoe to dry. Yes, it's the same shoe that I just washed, but as you can see, the sole brush should not get all the dirt off the bottom here. And if you want to do a proper restoration, I know that a lot of people don't really care about the bottoms of their shoes, but if you want to get off all this extra dirt that is not coming up with the Rejuvenator Sneaker Solution Kit, what you can use is more acetone. You just put it on a cotton ball. There we go, and watch this just vanish right before your eyes. There we go, makes the bottoms of your shoes look pretty much new again. It's not harsh on it whatsoever because this is just rubber. Like this, I mean, this is not, this isn't going anywhere. You got shoes from 1999 that the midsoles are completely crumbling because this is a delicate material. This right here is meant to stand the test of time. So you can take acetone to it as often and as much as you want and it will get all that extra dirt off, all those stubborn stains on the bottom, and it is just such a good product to use. This is a very, very helpful tip that a lot of people don't actually know about, and, and you know, like I said before, knowledge should be free, and I'm going to let you guys in on this secret. I'm pretty sure I have the other shoe right here, where the bottoms are dirty as well, and I can show you again. We'll take the acetone, and right before your eyes, pretty much all of it is going away. It is just the best technique that I have found so far to make sure that you get your bottoms looking as close to dead stock as possible. But like I said before, a lot of people don't care about this. I personally don't care about this, but it is my job to care, if that makes any sense. Like if it's my own shoes, I really don't care. I understand that the bottoms of shoes get dirty, but some people are very anal about this kind of stuff. And if you want to make your customers happy, acetone the bottom of their shoes to make it look as clean as possible. But there we go. We have a nice bottom of the Air Jordan Cool Gray 3 on both of them. Not too bad. Now I am actually going to wait for this to dry. It's going to take quite a bit. And I will see you guys when it's time for me to actually paint this shoe. See you later. 
Alright, so the shoe has completely dried and now what I'm going to do before I start taping it off is I'm going to take this suede nap because the material on this Cool Grey 3 is a suede nubuck material and since I got it wet, I just want to make sure that, you know, the, the, the feeling of the shoe is back to its original form. It feels a little rough right now from actually cleaning it, so I'm going to use this brush. It's a very, very hard brass bristle brush that you can get at reshoebinator.com. And pretty much you just go back and forth until the suede feels normal again. That's really the best way I can describe it. I know that Reshoebinator has a few videos showing exactly how to use this stuff, so head on over to their YouTube channel. And in the meantime, just watch me do it. All right, and now the feel of the shoe is very soft, much softer than it was before I applied this to it. And now that I have gotten that out of the way, I am going to tape up the parts of the shoes that I do not want to get white on because I am going to move on to the white undercoat on the midsole. For this particular part of the job, I am going to be using Angelus Red Vinyl Tape. If you are in America, you can get this at AngelusDirect.com, but if you are in Australia, just like me, you can get it from your boys over at Sneaker Sauce freshoutthebox.com.au but yeah this stuff is pretty good I wouldn't recommend using it on an actual midsole because it rips up the tape very easily it's very sticky on the bottom of it like if you look at a piece of it this stuff is extremely sticky so it tends to rip tape with it I highly recommend only using it on soles and on uppers I would not recommend taping off the portions of the midsole that you do not want to tape when it comes time to do the colored portion but without any more further ado let's tape up the shoe Now what I do before I actually start painting is I normally take a brush, I write other on it because I don't like to use this brush for anything other than just wiping down a dry shoe just to get any debris off the midsole because if you get dust or anything underneath the paint, it's very visible, it shows and it's ugly and I hate it. So I'm just going to rub down the shoe really quick to make sure that there is no debris on the midsole whatsoever before I get started painting. So yeah, let's get to painting. This should do it just fine. Now before I actually move forward with taping off and repainting the actual colored portion of the midsole here, I do want to take a second to say that I've been seeing some people repainting the Cool Grey 3 using a regular grey, using a light grey, and also using the Collector's Edition White Cement 4 grey. And what I'm about to do is just politely tell you that if you are doing that, you are wrong. If you want to repaint a pair of Cool Grey 3s, you need to mix up the paint yourself. And if you want to find yourself the exact paints and the exact ratio that I used in order to get this nice shade of cool gray, be sure to follow me on Instagram. My username is the exact same as it is here on YouTube. It is at xchasemachini. I will leave a link in the description down below and there will also be a username on the screen. And when you finally find yourself on my Instagram profile, what you want to do is navigate your way to this photo right here. And once you are at that photo, make sure you hit the little heart button. And after you're hitting the heart button, make sure you read the text below the photo because within that text, I give you guys the exact paint in the exact measurements to use in order to get yourself a very nice shade of cool gray. Okay, so now that we have a nice shade of cool gray here, what it's time to do is actually tape off this midsole. I'm going to be using blue edge lock tape by 3M. So yeah, let's get into this and get this shoe finished off.
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother.